Here we come, Frank. I'll just get you to sit over here on the plinth if that's okay. Good -o. And just have a seat. Lovely. Excellent. Frank, I forgot to ask you some questions before, so is it okay if I ask them now? Certainly. Okay. So you said that when you're in physio at the moment, you get short of breath only when it's when you have severe exertion. What sort of activities provoke this? Do you think? Could you describe the severe exertion? What in the physio or just overall? Well, what sort of activities make you short of breath? Playing bowls. Playing bowls. Okay. You deliver the bowl and you've got to walk up and back. And okay. Depending on the weather conditions. Okay. A pretty warm, humid day plays havoc. Okay. So how's about how about with in the physio gym? What sort of activities make uh, you short of breath? Not quite, but pushes it a bit. The primarily is riding the bike. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is step. Okay. The Steps. one that goes... Ah, oh, the stepper. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it is vicious. Okay. So, Frank, if zero was feeling no, no breathlessness at all, and ten was the worst, worst possible breathlessness that you could imagine, how would you rate your breathlessness in the gym? About four. About a four. Okay. Yeah. And playing bowls? Depending on the day. On a good, clear day... Yep. Uh, negligible because okay. in between you're putting bowls you can sit down. Yeah, but but when it but, gets bad? Ah, uh, six, seven. Okay, all right. Now also when you're walking, when you're at home, roughly sort of how much distance are you able to walk before you need a rest? Round about, uh, we've measured all this. Oh, okay. Before all this hospital stuff, yep. we used to walk about 1.7 k's. Okay. Before you needed round a rest. our block and yep. down round, yeah. Before you needed a rest. Before we both needed it. Okay. <laughs> and since you've been here, walking around the ward, do you feel short of breath or? Not really, no. Okay. No, it's That's pretty right. good. Okay. I also forgot to ask you about your medications. So when right. you're at home, do you have medications that you need to take frequently? Yes. Yep. And do you know what they are? Yes. I take Diamicron because I'm diabetic, okay. type 2. Okay. Uh, also Diabex. Mm hmm And uh, I take Lasix. That's to keep the fluid around the heart, etc., under control. Mm hmm And I take Micardis. Okay. For high blood pressure. Do you take any medication for your lungs, for your oh, breathing? I've got puffers. Okay. Yeah, two of those. And do you take those frequently? Oh yeah, morning and night. Needed. Okay, yeah. good. So you generally keep up with all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Good, yeah. that's good. Uh, one last question. At home, um, have you got any stairs? No. No? So not a step anywhere? Well, uh, yeah, step into the house. Yep. And do you manage that quite well? Oh, easy. Oh, good. Like eh? leading in, we have, we have a veranda on the front of the okay. house. The side. All right. There's a little step at the end which we use because that's right to the garage. In front, we have three steps, okay, which we don't use. You don't use them, no. okay. So you can get into the house without yeah. using them. Well, okay. this is all brought about because of hip replacements. Hip. Yeah, oh, yeah. good Oh, Okay, Frank, do you mind if I have a bit of a listen and a look at some things? Certainly. Yeah. So I'm gonna have a look at how your oxygen's going. Thank you. So just rest your hand on your leg there. Perfect. You're doing well. So Frank, if you don't mind, I'm going to have a bit of a listen to your chest. Is that okay? Yep. I'll just shut the curtains. A little bit. So do you mind if you take your shirt off? It'll upset me here. <laughs> That'll be all right. Ah. 
Now, if you wanted just to hold on to this at the front, make you a bit more comfortable. So I'm just going to have a bit of a listen and I want you to take some big deep breaths through your mouth, in and out through your mouth. If you get dizzy, just let me know, okay? Okay. In and out. Big one in. Good. Good. And out. Do you mind if I have a listen to the front? Getting dizzy or are you feeling all right? Okay. You all right? Yep. Good. -o. Big deep breath in. And out. Good. And out. Good. And again, in, and out, and in, good. Okay, one more, good. Thanks Frank, do you need a hand putting your top back on? You'll be right? Yep. Yeah, looks fine. <laughs> Frank, could you just do a bit of a cough for me? Certainly. Okay. <coughs> yep. Now, did that hurt anywhere or did that feel no. alright? Okay. No. Now, do you mind if I put my hands no. on your chest there? I'm just going to get off this chair. There we go. So, can you take a big deep breath in for me? Good. And out. Good. And again. Good. And out. Okay. Can you have another cough for me? <coughs> is anything coming up there or is it just... No. Okay. So no. usually is it a bit thicker than that or is that normal? Oh, beforehand, very, very. Okay. Now, normal. Normal. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, Frank, I'd also like to have a look at um, how you're walking and how your balance and strength is as well. Is that okay? Yep. So we might go out to the gym and, and have a look at that. Okay. Sure. So how are you feeling after that walk? Very good, thank you. That's good, Very you did good. well. Okay, so your oxygen's gone down just, just a tiny bit, but it's still okay. And your heart rate's gone up a little bit, but that's to be expected. Good. So we're on, so your oxygen's about 95, and your heart Excellent. rate's about... 77. Good, very good. Good oh. In we come Frank. I'll just get you to sit over here on the plinth if that's okay. Good oh. And just have a seat. Lovely. Excellent. Frank, I forgot to ask you some questions before, so is it okay if I ask them now? Certainly. Okay. So you said that when you're in physio at the moment you get short of breath only when it's when you have severe exertion. What sort of activities provoke this, do you think? Could you describe severe exertion? What, in the physio or just overall? Well, what sort of activities make you short of breath? Playing bowls. Playing bowls, one, because okay. You deliver the bowl and you've got to walk up and back. And okay. Depending on the weather conditions. Okay. A pretty warm, humid day plays havoc. Okay. So how's about, how about with, in the physio gym, what sort of activities make uh, you short of breath? Not quite, but pushes it a bit. The primarily is riding the bike, mm -hmm. and the other thing is step. Okay, The Steps. one that goes... Ah, oh, the stepper, uh, yes. Yeah, okay. it is vicious. Okay, so Frank, if Zero was feeling no 
no breathlessness at all. And 10 was the worst, worst possible breathlessness that you could imagine. How would you rate your breathlessness in the gym? About four. About a four, okay. Yeah. And playing bowls? Depending on the day, on a good clear day, yep. uh, negligible because okay. in between you're putting bowls, you can sit down. Yeah, but, it, but when it but, gets bad? Uh, uh, six, seven. Okay, all right. Now also when you're walking, when you're at home, roughly sort of how much distance are you able to walk before you need a rest? Around about, uh, we've measured all this. Oh, okay. Before all this hospital stuff, yep. we used to walk about 1.7 k's. Okay, before you needed a rest. Round our block, yep. and down round, yeah. Before you needed a rest. Before we both needed it. Okay, <laughs> and since you've been here, walking around the ward, do you feel short of breath or? Not really, no. Okay, no, it's That's pretty right. good. Okay, I also forgot to ask you about your medications. So when right. you're at home, do you have medications that you need to take frequently? Yes. Yep. And do you know what they are? Yes. I take Diamicron because I'm diabetic, okay. type 2. Okay. Uh, also Diabex. Mm -hmm. And uh, I take Lasix. That's to keep the fluid around the heart, etc., under control. Mm -hmm. And I take my Cardis. Okay. For high blood pressure. Do you take any medication for your lungs? Oh, I've got puffers. Okay. Yeah, two of those. And do you take those frequently? Oh, yeah, morning and night. Needed? Okay, yeah. good. So you generally keep up with all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Good, yeah. that's good. Uh, one last question. At home, um, have you got any stairs? No. No? So not a step anywhere? Well, uh, yeah, step into the house. Yep. And do you manage that quite well? Oh, easy. Oh, good. Well, like leading in, we have, we have a veranda on the front of the okay. house. Side. All right. There's a little step at the end which we use because that's right to the garage. In front, we have three steps, okay, which and we don't use. You don't use them, no. okay. So you can get into the house without yeah. using them. Well, okay. this is all brought about because of hip the replacements. Hip. Yeah, right. yeah. good. Oh, okay, Frank. Do you mind if I have a bit of a listen and a look at some things? Certainly. Yeah. So I'm going to have a look at how your oxygen's going. Thank you. So just rest your hand on your leg there. Perfect. You're doing well. So Frank, if you don't mind, I'm going to have a bit of a listen to your chest. Is that okay? Yep. I'll just shut the curtains. A little bit. So do you mind if you take your shirt off? It'll upset me here. <laughs> That'll be all right. Ta. Now, if you wanted just to hold on to this at the front, make you a bit more comfortable. So I'm just going to have a bit of a listen and I want you to take some big deep breath through your mouth, in and out through your mouth. If you get dizzy, just let me know, okay? Okay. In and out. Big one in. Good. Good. And out. Do you mind if I have a listen to the front? Getting dizzy or are you feeling alright? Okay. You alright? Yep. Good day. Big deep breath in. And out. Good. And out. Good. And again, in, and out, 
and in. Good. Okay, one more. Good. Thanks, Frank. Do you need a hand putting your top back on? Yeah, I see that. You'll be right. Yep. Yeah, looks fine. <laughs> Frank, could you just do a bit of a cough for me? Certainly. Okay. <coughs> yep. Now, did that hurt anywhere or did that feel no. alright? Okay. No. Now, do you mind if I put my hands no. on your chest there? I'm just going to get off this chair. There we go. So, can you take a big deep breath in for me? Good. And out. Good. And again. Good. And out. Okay. Can you have another cough for me? <coughs> is anything coming up there or is it just... No. Okay. So no. usually is it a bit thicker than that or is that normal? Oh, beforehand, very, very. Okay. Now, normal. Normal. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, Frank, I'd also like to have a look at um, how you're walking and how your balance and strength is as well. Is that okay? Yep. So we might go out to the gym and, and have a look at that. Okay. Sure. So how are you feeling after that walk? Very good, thank you. That's good, Very you did good. well. Okay, so your oxygen's gone down just, just a tiny bit, but it's still okay. Your heart rate's gone up a little bit, but that's to be expected. Good. So we're on, so your oxygen's about 95, and your heart Excellent. rate's about... 77. Good, very good. Good, eh? So, Frank, we just went for a bit of a walk outside, have a look at how you're going, and you did quite well. Um, how are you feeling after that? Good, thank you. Good, that's good. good. So, when you get home, it's important that you still stay, that you stay as active as you were before, but you're going to have to take it bit easy when you get home. So yeah. maybe don't go for that 1.7 kilometre walk on your first day home. So maybe just take it bit by bit. So walk maybe to the letterbox and see how you're feeling and then maybe just a couple of houses down. You don't right. want to... Sounds all right. Yeah. yeah. And just sort of gradually increase it bit by bit. And don't push yourself too hard. Does that sound all right? Sounds good to me. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so you said to me before that you've been given some breathing exercises and some coughing things to do. Would you like to show me what you've been taught how to do to clear up your chest? Well, basically, <coughs> you breathe in through your nose, mm -hmm. hold it for three seconds, and yep. breathe out very, very slow. Okay. So you're breathing out slower than you're taking the air in. Okay. And you do this for oh, five minutes. Yep, so it's just the yep. deep breathing. Another one is uh, there's a bottle of water with a plastic tube. Okay. And you blow bubbles. Excellent. And you do... Uh, so do you have one of those at home or is yeah, that just... No, okay. no, you make them up anyway. Yep. You do that ten times. Okay. And hopefully that'll give you a cough to get any possible muck off your chest. Okay. And then just generally speaking, yeah, I don't think there's anything else specific other than okay. uh, deep, deep, deep breathing. Okay. Do you mind if you show me how you do that deep breathing that you were talking about? No, certainly not. In through your nose, mm -hmm. hold it for three seconds. Yep. Out slowly. Okay. Good, and out. Frank, do you mind if I get you to relax your hands and just maybe pop them here? And instead of lifting up your shoulders, we'll try and keep them a bit more relaxed, okay? So take right. a big deep, deep breath in. Good, and out. Well, you do it in your time, good. Do you mind if I put my hands on your chest again? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you take that big deep breath in, 
can you try and push my hands out to the side? So get it right down to the bottom of your lungs. Okay, big one in. Good. And good. And all the way out. And again. Much better. And all the way out. So when you do these normally, how many do you usually do? Multiples of five. Okay. Have a, <laughs> have a breather yep. and then do it again. So do you want to have a bit of a rest and then maybe we'll do five um, more? Do, let's do it now. Okay. All right. Big deep breath in. Good. Good. Your hands nice and relaxed. Good. And big one in. And again. And out. Two more. Last one. Good. And out. Can you give me a bit of a cough, Frank? <coughs> yep. Did, Manufactured. Did something come up then? No. Or, no. Okay. No. All right. Just going to have a walk for six minutes at just a comfortable pace. You just take your time. Yep. If you need to stop at any point, then you let me know. Shall do. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Let's go. What happens if I fall over? I catch you. <laughs> I think we can probably go back soon. <laughs> we could have escaped, we could have walked outside. No, you've got to go out that way for lunch. 